Hello, hello. Hello, all you surprise people. Happy lunchtime. Anything during lunch lunch, time? Yes. Which we've never done before. Lunchtime edition, nursing so, um, SOS. Totally, ask me anything. Totally a surprise. We didn't tell anybody we were going to do this. Nope. No we one. We just decided. Not a one. So, happy ask me anything. Happy ask me anything. This is Christina. I hello. am Matthew. Nice to meet Welcome. you. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Hey, Elizabeth. It's, I guess it's lunchtime for us. It depends on where you're listening from. Where it might be a little late for world? those on the East Coast. But I don't know. Some people eat around three. Yeah. Yeah. I, do I usually lunch. take late lunches, usually. Mm -hmm. So anyway, With welcome. Thanks for joining us, where we try and answer as many questions as possible. Most of the time nursing related, sometimes nursing adjacent, and sometimes just really random questions. Totally so go ahead random. And Type down any comments, questions that you have down below in the comments, either on YouTube or Facebook, Facebook. or Instagram. Facebook, I don't know if you can see our, if we can see your comments. So can you we comment please see. on Instagram or not Instagram, Facebook, Facebook, um, leave a comment on Facebook because sometimes they, Hey, I did a live video yesterday for our nursing SOS members and I could not see. And them. you could not see comments. them. So I might need to pull you guys up again on my phone kind of, so um, we can follow your comments but mm -hmm. i will do that sh shortly all right let's rapid fire i like all the right. questions rapid from our fire members. questions so we want to answer the ones that members ask yep. first so yep. uh, members of the nursing sos membership community can go ahead and ask questions beforehand and we will answer them first leave also your question in the comments yes leave your questions in the Hi, comments Tiffany. um kensani Hello. Welcome. Also, membership is open. So if Woo! you want to join, go ahead and go to nursingschoolofsuccess.com slash join. And then you'd be able to ask your questions and we'll answer them first. Mm -hmm. So kind of three or whatever step process. If you want to get your questions answered first, that is the way to do it. Yep. All right. Anyway, I uh, want to start off the first Let's question see. from yep. the members. Uh, did you work? Did you work during nursing school? If so, how many hours per week? I did work through nursing school until I got pregnant. Then I did not work anymore. How many hours per week did I work? Uh, well, so let's see. You worked as our youth leader, leader mm -hmm. for our church. That is what you did. Yep. Um, how many hours? Work. How many hours do you think that would be? It was a lot. I think it was a lot because <laughs> we did a lot yeah. of activities as well. Yeah. And so that was planning it. That was also going to any of the activities too. So yep. we had um, mission trips, overnighters, and things like that. So yep. you even did, did you actually? We did the Yeah, we actually did overnighters did while overnighters. in nursing we school. So that was fun. Multi-day mission trips. Mm -hmm. We did uh, all the, you know, the youth groups. We did the youth group every week, twi twice a week, wasn't it? Like yes. weekend and yep. weekend weekday. And, and yeah, we did yeah it was a lot. It was a lot. So like planning all, every night kind of thing. And mm -hmm. then just doing the activities. Yeah, it was a lot. I don't know. Um, it wasn't like a J-O-B like we talk about sometimes here. It was a kind of like, like we say, it was a calling. <laughs> and uh, um, I don't know how many hours. Hmm. I can't even tell you. Like, I couldn't even tell you how many hours we work now. A lot. <laughs> it was definitely a lot. All week. So. Um, because you like it so much. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I w at least 25. I would say. Would you say? Probably at least there. I'm at pretty sure it was over that. Like 30? Yeah. yeah, for sure. 30, yeah. I mean, yeah, so working. So, it was basically, like, almost working full-time and going to nursing school. Full -time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And you did that again. You, we got, you, we got pregnant. Mm -hmm. Mostly you. It was mostly her. <laughs> I contributed. I like, I like the term we got pregnant. <laughs> yes. So we were pregnant the last nine, well, nine months. So we had our baby right after nursing school. Yeah. I was like on the pinning stage. Like, I really hope that I'm going to labor right now. Cause that would be fun. So not, I don't know. That had happened before. Someone told me. Oh, that someone, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, went into labor while they were uh, walking across the stage. Hey, Insta or Facebook, Facebook <laughs> comments. Hi, Olivia. Oh. Thank you. We look, can see Facebook we comments. We are getting apparently. comments. Cool. 
So I'm not sure if you remember this, but I think we were you're we planning, right? When you when you first joined oh, joined nursing school, when you first yep. started going to nursing school, we were planning. Okay, when is the right time to have kids? Mm -hmm. um, when we first got married, we were planning that too. But then when you started nursing school, when was the first time to have kids? And we were thinking like we should start trying so that like right. So uh, maybe start trying right after, right? Yeah. That, that was the original plan was start trying right after because it is nursing school. There's going to be really no time. Be we wanna, yeah, do you want to really be pregnant in nursing school? So we'll try right after nursing school. So timing didn't really <laughs> work out because we had our first right, right after nursing right after school. Nursing school. I so. remember so my best friend in nursing school. Um, I was... Uh, really nauseous the first trimester <laughs> really bad and so I remember just sitting um like ugh, I think we had either just finished an exam or like I don't know there's I was at school for a long day and I was eating fruit loops <laughs> I was eating fruit loops in the common area just like minding myself and then one of our instructors walked by she's awesome I loved all of our instructors <laughs> she like looks at me she's like what you doing, Christina? Yeah. <laughs> and my best friend, she's like, just, 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 just keep walking. She's like, just keep walking. I just leave her. We her alone. She's fine. She's going to be fine. <laughs> so funny. I was like, I was so nauseous. <laughs> so pregnancy is like a full-time job if you have not been pregnant before. If you are so yeah. sick. So, <laughs> oh, man. That, that was an adventure for So, sure. yes, I yeah. had a job in nursing school. I did work through nursing school. And then I got pregnant, which was like having a job in nursing school. You're just tired all the time. Yeah. Hey, pregnancy's great. <laughs> Kids uh, are great. Question adjacent to this, and I do not <laughs> expect you to answer this, but I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> someone <laughs> kind of asked, uh, what nursing school did you graduate from? Mm. So she did graduate. She is a nurse. I'm a nurse. Yes. I don't, I've never, I don't know. I've never said the nursing school. I don't know no, if I really want no, to. No, I don't think we yeah. should. <laughs> I don't know. For various reasons, but thank you for asking. And thank for, you for asking. For yeah, there are interest. things that we, that we <laughs> like to like keep our private lives private. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. So, but yeah. I live in Washington. Yeah. <laughs> I am a registered the nurse. The Great Pacific Northwest. Yeah. Yep. So. There you go. Yep. That's where we're. All right. Just thought That's I. That's all we're gonna ask that <laughs> It was nursing school related. Yeah. All right. On to. I don't think people have ever really asked that before. No. Though. Like they don't ask very often. No. The the question we do get is whether I'm a nurse. Yeah. I get. The answer's no. I I I think they probably know that you're a nurse or. That yeah. you give off that nurse vibe? I don't know. Is there a nurse vibe? I don't know. Apparently, I do not give that off <laughs> because that is a question we get a lot is whether I am a nurse. And no, That's great. I am not a nurse. I love it. But yeah. I'm married to one. So there is there that. There you go. Okay. Hey, uh, Lakshani. I hope I said your name right. Uh, how do you allocate your time to run a YouTube channel while studying? I don't because I graduated already. You are a nurse. Um, I am a nurse. So yes. <laughs> that's um, actually, we get that question a lot. People ask me, oh, or like, oh, I just got some comments on YouTube. They were like, you're going to do great on your final exams. I'm like, thanks, I did. <laughs> 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 Already graduated. So yeah, that's why I teach it now mm -hmm. because I did so well. There you go. There you go. Teach so, what you know. Yes. That's and me. found that. The way that you teach is helpful to a lot of people. Yes, so it is, apparently. That is why we're doing this. Because it caught on like a wildfire. Welcome, everybody, on Instagram. And on Hello. YouTube and on Facebook. And on Facebook. All right, hey, next, Mike. next member question. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. It's lunchtime now, but hello, good evening. I'm a new member. Uh, I want to not, I want to not the system mm -hmm. helps with the ATI. No I'm just reading it verbatim. So I want to not the system helps with the ATI. So does the system work with ATI? Oh, okay. Got it. Does the system work with ATI or HUSI? So I always wrap those two up together because they're so similar. If you're in an ATI program and I talk about HUSI, it applies to you. If you're in a HUSI program and I talk about ATI, it applies to you. So basically what ATI and HUSI is, is just a supplemental curriculum not really even supplemental. It is a lot of your core nursing school curriculum. 
It's a curriculum that your school might use for nursing school. Now, the positives about this is that it's very closely intertwined with the NCLEX, and it does a fantastic job at preparing you for the NCLEX exam. On the flip side, that makes it a little bit challenging is that it's, I just call them wild cards. Any of the exams that are ATI or HESI, they can literally throw anything at you and you have no idea what's coming. And your instructors might not necessarily know either because they didn't write the exams. It's just a curriculum that your school is using to teach you in nursing school. So it's a little bit different um, than a school who the instructors create the curriculum themselves, if that makes sense. So ATI or HESI, you're going to have exams just like you would normally in nursing school. Like we all think of like nursing school. Um, you're going to have exams the same way. However, they can throw anything at you on those exams. And the good news is, is that clearly, very, very closely is similar to the NCLEX. So if you did well, or at least are getting better on your ATI and your HESI exams, you are set up a lot, like really well for the NCLEX, which is super cool. So that's kind of how that works. Um, back to the question, Christina, <laughs> get off topic. Um, Will it help? Will the Nursing SOS membership community help? Will our study techniques help for HESI and ATI? Absolutely. It's the same thing. So there is, here's how I kind of like to think about this. There is medical knowledge out there, right? There's nursing knowledge, so much of it out there in the world. So much medical knowledge in the world. And then in nursing school, you have to understand the core of those things. Like what are the most important things you have to know? Here's where students get stuck. They want to know everything about everything. And then you get caught up, stuck in overwhelm with trying to know everything about everything. And it doesn't work, right? We've all kind of been there trying to learn everything, all the things, consuming all the things, wanting to know everything. But then you, you can't, you just get to a point where you're, when you finally realize that you will not be able to always pull this book out because it's a great example. You cannot read every single thing in this book, partially because it's ginormous. Another reason is that this is only volume two. There is a whole other volume to this book that this was actually my fundamentals book in nursing school. So this is part two. There's a part one and it's the same size, maybe even bigger can you read this in nursing school maybe are you going to retain it all absolutely not you have to focus on the core things the most important things that you need to know for your exams end of story that's it which what we always teach is what your professors talk about in class in the instance of ATI HESI, your instructors are still teaching you out of the HESI or ATI curriculum. So still study the things that your professors talk about in class. With ATI, um, you also have, you know, ATI textbooks. A lot of your programs might have ATI books. Um, so you can focus on reading those sections too in those books that will help you. Uh, HESI and both HESI and ATI. I was in a HESI program. Um, so HESI program and ATI oftentimes we'll have like online slides and stuff available for you, so things like that. So use those resources, focus on the things that the curriculum is teaching you, the core concepts of that, and then you will have time to apply it. But please don't read every single thing in your, in your textbooks. There's just not enough time and you will not, you really will set yourself up for failure. You really will. It's, it feels like you're missing things if you're not going, if you're not reading the footnote on page, you know, 3,050. It feels like you're setting yourself up for failure that way because you're going to be missing stuff. But when in reality, that's just, I mean, that's really very, 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 not very often. So very, very, <laughs> not very often, not at all very often will you be tested on the footnote on page 3050. You have to focus on what's most important. That is what's most likely to show up in your exams. So that's why we teach it that way. Mm -hmm. So inside the Nursing SOS membership community, did you know that um, pretty much every video in there takes us about 10 hours of our team's time? By the way, um, Nursing SOS is uh, not just me. It's not just Matthew. We have a whole team of um, 
nurses and non-nurses people. of people <laughs> nurses and non-nurses alike nurses and non-nurses I'm alike. a non-nurse <laughs> um so it takes our team about 10 hours from uh you know getting all the information that you need to know we do that job for you we give you the core content of the things that you actually have to know and then we break it down for you in a way that um you learn it so much faster so much faster. I love our videos inside the membership community and on YouTube because it's basically like I do the critical thinking for you. I love it um, that like any of the videos that we have on pathophysiology, they walk you through step by step the pathophysiology and students love that. Like what is step by step what is happening? And then signs and symptoms, any video on sign, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment and nursing interventions, we do the critical thinking for you. So it's like, why does this happen? Why does the sign and symptom happen? We don't just give you a list of sign, signs and symptoms to memorize. That would be crazy. Like that's like reading the textbook, right? So if you go and watch a YouTube video and they just give you a list of signs and symptoms to memorize, like that is not helpful for you. What is most helpful for you is if they tell you why it happened so that you can understand and connect it back to the pathophysiology actually understand what's happening and what's going on. So instead of like just memorizing a textbook, you can just pull up a video of me teaching it to you and I tell you step by step what's going on and exactly why it's happening. And then why are you going to assess these things? Why are we doing these nursing interventions? You have to understand the critical thinking and the why behind things, which is why the nursing SOS membership community, I think is so stinking amazing is because we do that for you. You know, we really help walk you through critical thinking. I think that's what we're good at. Awesome. So you can connect all the dots. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Well, are yeah. Are we allowed to ask questions here? Absolutely. Go yes, for it. go ahead, ask questions do uh, here. We are currently answering our member questions. Um, members can usually ask before and we want to get to them first. I do want to say welcome to all the members that are currently watching. Uh, some some new members on YouTube, Mike and uh, let's see, Alicia and Ikran. Sorry if I pronounce your names wrong, uh, but welcome. Hello. Thanks for joining. Uh, you guys did ask some questions. We have a couple more uh, that were asked by members beforehand, and then we'll get to all the other questions. So keep asking questions. I am capturing all of them. If we can't get to them now, uh, we'll take a look and maybe get to them at a future time, future AMA. So be on the lookout for that. Yeah. Uh, just want to let you guys know that like. We've mentioned membership is open right now. So go ahead, nursingschoolofsuccess.com slash join if you have not to take a look at it. Uh, just want to do some quick shout outs. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll do a quick, <laughs> Let's do it. quick shout outs. So we were on our AMA yesterday and we did a shout out for everyone that joined um, the day before. Yeah, yeah, the day before. So we're back now. These so, are just all the people that have joined since yesterday. <laughs> yep. So we'll do some quick Which shout outs. Which is crazy to me. Like, how um how amazing god is to expand this ministry i truly believe that this is our ministry and what we are called to do and when you put in work for something we, like we talked about yesterday god will bless that and mm -hmm. multiply it and i truly believe that god is using this platform to reach more nursing students to help them not only succeed in nursing school but to believe that you are capable i don't know if I've been as clear as I should be about my mission in life. My mission not necessarily is to help you become a nurse. My mission in life is to help you believe that you can. So yes, I can give you the content. I can give you the study tips, but I am here to help you believe that you are capable of doing nursing school of becoming an amazing nurse, of, you know, doing anything in life that you want to do. That's why we're here. So I think it's just so amazing that we have like just watching over the past few years, how God has multiplied that mission and expanded it out. is just an amazing ministry to me. I just love what we do. So there you go. Let's do some new member shout outs. So these right. are, so if I missed you, if I missed your name, most likely we, I said it on a previous AMA. So if you, these are just the members that have joined since yesterday. So if you joined like Sunday, we shouted out your name on Sunday's live. 
if you joined yesterday, we did it on yesterday's live. And then today is all these right people. Now. So, so yeah. And hello. if we don't get to you, yeah, check those other AMAs. Or if you don't hear your name, if you go through all of it, <laughs> did not hear yourself, shout us out and yep. we'll shout you back. Tell so, me. I go. will shout you out. Uh, welcome to the Nursing Access Membership Community. Jocelyn, Sarah, Jessica, Lakita, Bethany, Latoya, Teresa, Brittany, Karen, Terrell, um, Kristen, Brianna, uh, Kadrian, Jenny, Brooke, Melissa, Sarah, Cameron, Miranda, Nargis, Stacy, Alina, Katrina, Sarah, Fane, Hannah, Lynn, Madeline. Oh, wait, scroll. hold on, hold on. I'm we got to scroll. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to have to <laughs> where to live up. Madeline, Elizabeth, Cynthia, Alexis, Alicia, Giselle, Tracy, Ashley, Isioma, Naomi, Stephanie, Victoria, Renita, Kaylee, Veronica, Ebony, Charlie, Megan, Kayla. Uh, uh, Ruby Ciela, Julie, Ju uh, Julette. Oh, there's no I in there. Okay, Julette. Keep scrolling. <laughs> All right, I'm going to like you. Okay, okay maybe we uh, just do a couple more. Okay. Lindsay, Olivia, Megan, Octavia. Okay, and then right. we will do the other half in a little That's a good bit. Place to stop. Welcome to the Nursing Hospital Membership Community, you guys. We have a whole the membership. We are <sighs> answering nursing questions right now. Hello. So let's answer a couple more from our members and people yes. are already asking questions on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. We'll get to those two uh, as we go through this. So, Oh, Hey Jessica on Facebook. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Hello. Jessica. All right. Next question. Let's and this, this question is interesting and uh, I am curious what everyone else kind of thinks about it and go ahead and chime in, in the comments too. Hmm. You want to read it or I'll, I'll read, it. I'll read it. I am the, the question reader and you can be the question answerer. Okay, this is a heavy topic, right? Is this a heavy topic? Yes, this okay. is a heavy topic. This is a heavy topic and we want to know really what you guys, um, what you would do. Yes. This is a what would you do? What would you do? All right, I'm starting my maternity rotation in two weeks. Uh, I will be values writing an essay paper on my support for saving the unborn child versus abortion. I know what I believe, but only on a personal side. Would you have any suggestions on how to write the other half of the longer paper, which supports the abortion side? So this is a question from a nursing SOS member, which is why we are answering it. And she recommended that we do it on an AMA. So we always try to honor to the best of our ability, our members questions. And, um, you know, yeah, you know, we just always want to answer those first. So, um, that's why we're doing that. So this is a much heavier question than we normally answer here on the AMAs, but we're, you know, obviously we're going to honor our members and, and, and do that here. So I'm really curious what you guys would do in this situation. She has to write a paper on something that she doesn't believe, I think is what it comes down to. That's, that's what it kind of reads like. And I guess we should preface it with, with our own beliefs as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so we, we are Christian and it's, we, we like to make that known. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. That's really over. If you that guys is, have been following us for yeah. a while, like, you know, that we're Jesus lovers through and through. <laughs> uh, we, we are also, um, of those we, two, yeah. of those two perspectives. Mm -hmm. Did you want to, well, I think that, um, wanna, I don't know. I don't know how you wanted to talk about that. There's, um, yeah, we are, I mean, I, I cannot choose, if you guys remember from the AMAs that we did a while ago, um, also my issue with some aspects of nursing, um, I cannot choose death for someone, period, end of story. It's not my decision to make, it's not, it's not my decision to make as a nurse, as a healthcare provider, as a mom, as a human, it's not, it's not my decision. So I think that that is where, you know, that's really just that's the value. Mm -hmm. And so I think this is a tough situation because it sounds like I'm not, I'm not totally sure how the school feels, how the instructor feels, but I do know that there are times, um, obviously like the Bible tells us, right. Where we are going to come up against things that, you know, times that are challenging like this, when we might be I don't want to say silence because that's not the right word. Um, you know, you, we're you, just going to have tough times. Yeah. It might be asked to do something that you do not believe in. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, just what to do in those scenarios. Mm -hmm. And I guess the other question from a non-nurse and never been in nursing school kind of coming at this, and I know that you were kind of explaining it to me beforehand, but now maybe just explain it again, just expanding on this, on this topic specifically, or what she's talking about, what is this values writing and what is this kind of paper supposed to be yeah, about? so from my understanding, so we just have the question yeah. here. So from my understanding of like papers like this in nursing school, it's basically what uh, uh, um, a MAME, am I saying that right on Instagram? Um, for the paper, don't put your own opinions in there. Just support the argument with evidence-based articles and leave it at that. So I think that is the assumption for nursing school and medical school and beyond. Pretty much any college class, right? You are, if you are presented with a, hey, a pros and cons argument for anything in college, that's really like, it's, it's mm -hmm. really a, it's here. Here's the evidence this way. Here's the evidence this way. The problem is, if I was in this situation, I can't write about it. I would refuse. I would have to based on my personal beliefs. I cannot write the other half of that paper. I could write, same thing with what she's saying, I could write about one side, but I cannot write about the other side. And that's just, that's just, you know, that's just how it is, you know? So it, it's, a, it's an interesting situation, an interesting question, and uh, I, I'm assuming that yeah. this is something that happens a lot or, if not a Probably lot more that, than you think that uh, people are going through this, but yeah, I think the overarching, no matter what topic it is, uh, the overarching concept here is like, Hey, I'm being asked to write a, a values um, pros cons list or pros cons essays about these two opposing viewpoints. I personally do not believe in one of those viewpoints. I do believe in the other one, but I don't believe in one of them do I, how do I proceed? And mm -hmm. ultimately it does come down to your own personal decision. Um, I think it's interesting that they reached out to us and thank you for reaching out to us and getting our opinion. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it is our opinion and, and how we would decide to answer the question. But um, I, I, I like that it was also asked in this kind of environment where we can be open with you guys and you guys can be open with us and, and share your thoughts about it because I am curious how, how would other people think about it as well. But that's the overarching idea is that there's an assignment. There are two opposing viewpoints. I believe in one and not the other. Um, and they're asking me to write about both. Mm -hmm. How do, how do I go about doing it? Absolutely. And so. basically same thing with anything in life, you know, you have to be sensitive for each side of course. And you know, you, you know, you, it's a, it's a fine not a, it's not a fun one. It's a, it's a tough thing to juggle. That's for sure. Um, I don't believe it's a belief paper. It's being able to interpret the information given. Is that the assignment? Sorry, I missed the beginning. So, um, and I guess that's where I'm at too. Yeah. It's, it's kind of hard. Again, it's hard all, all we get is the question. So we're, mm -hmm. we're trying to extrapolate a little bit more. So yep. I'm, I'm having a difficulty answering that too on whether this is a belief paper or exactly how you're supposed to approach it. So we're just trying to answer it the best of our ability. So, yep. yeah. Um, so, but the thing is, it comes down for me is even if it was an evidence-based thing, I still can't write it. I can't, you know, that's just, yeah. I, I just, I, so. I can't, that's, that's me. That's, you know, just God, this is how it is, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, for sure. So even if it was an evidence-based thing, I, even if, so here's the thing, you guys, even if it meant getting kicked out of nursing school, even if it meant having to start over, does not matter. I can't write it. Um, yeah. uh, I, I, so we're I, not like, yeah. like, I'm not saying that at all, like that that's the situation at all, but I mean, like how far are you willing to go? How for far are you willing in? to go? And again, it comes down to where, what are your own personal beliefs? And, and all we can do is give you our experiences, our thoughts yeah. and uh, leave, leave it up to you guys to, to understand. And we have and, a lot of people joining. Yeah, definitely. Sorry, we have a lot of people joining. So people want to know the question again. 
Okay. The question again, I am starting my maternity rotation in two weeks. I will be writing a values writing essay paper. So maybe it's values. So maybe that is, maybe it is more of an opinion piece. I don't know. I'm yeah. writing a values essay paper on my support for saving an unborn child versus abortion. I know what I believe, but only on a personal scale. Would you have any suggestions on how to write the other half of the longer paper, which supports the abortion side? See, so it, it's kind of interesting because how I interpreted that at the beginning, uh, I'll be writing a values writing an essay paper on my support for saving an unborn child versus abortion. So to that that part alone, it just seems to me, oh, maybe it's a it's an it is an opinion piece, it is a belief piece, and you get on on which side you want to which side you want to go on, and whether you want to um, basically argue argue one side or at least let one side be known that this is this is how I. Uh, this is how I would uh, support either side. Uh, so that that part there in that question, I guess, is where I was leaning towards. Oh, just just explain your side. Just yeah. explain the side that you agree with. But it's However, so that funny. second part kind of skews the other way. That okay, I only believe one side and not the other. So how do I how do I write this paper? Meaning that by that part of the question, it almost seems like you have to write about both. Um, and almost like support both. So yeah. I don't, I don't know what that is. Um, if it's just, if it's just you saying, okay, this is, this is what I believe, and this is the opinion piece, and um, this is where I stand, and that that's a little more cut and dry. But if it's something that it's actively asking you to go against something you believe in, then that is something that we just personally we we just we couldn't do that. If it goes yeah. against something you believe in, it something you probably shouldn't do yeah so, so no matter what um, are. yeah let us know oh why not ask the professor yeah yes. perfect um let us know what you guys think what would you do what would you do in this situation we want to you know also give our opinion but also leave it open for you because i mean there's a lot you know i i know there's a lot of different you know not, not the least. There's a lot of different beliefs, but a lot of different perspectives yeah. that's the word i was looking for that your perspective might definitely help um, is it a paper suggesting that you see that you can see others views even if you don't believe their choice again all we have yeah, is a question i don't I, know i don't know uh, maybe maybe uh if you're listening to this and this is your question and you mm -hmm. want to provide more information either privately or or wherever you can mm -hmm. you can definitely do that but again i like this open dialogue and people um Super teasing helpful. this out and I, I think that that's that's really the main part of this this dialogue is just seeing where everyone's coming from and see what best way we can all learn. Yeah, I like ask the professor for sure. If you guys yeah. are ever unclear about an assignment, um, definitely ask your professors. <sighs> um, let's see, my professors always tell us when we become nurses, we have to be non-biased. Yeah. Um, so I had a really interesting experience in nursing school. We actually, we had a whole class um, and you most likely will actually, this is the thing in nursing school, you will probably, it's an ethic, it's an ethics yeah, thing. It's you, really, that was like a, one of you will have, ones, right? mm, yeah, yeah, you will have an ethics class in nursing school. And so this, is, this falls into that ethics category, right? And so there's so many different things, you know, so many different ways that you could go. So in our class, um, it was really open. The instructor was talking about, um, you know, her experience with this and, um, you know, everyone was, ev everyone else has different beliefs, you know, everyone has different beliefs and that's totally fine. I think where we get stuck with, as humans, as people, we get stuck thinking that just because I don't agree with you or you don't agree with me, that that means that we can't be friends. We can't have a relationship. We can't love each other. Even if you are like a totally different belief system than me, I can absolutely love you. That's what we do. So another question you had, what if you're treating a patient who wants to have an abortion? Would you not treat them? So here's the thing. I can absolutely love someone who is in that situation. 1000%. I can absolutely like love and support them as a person. I cannot support that choice. And I cannot be involved with that, you know? So there are lines to it. Do I 1000% love them? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and I think that's where we get stuck. We, we kind of separate the two out. Like if I don't agree with you, we can't 
be in like relationship with each other. We can't be family. We can't be friends. We can't love each other and have compassion for each other. Absolutely not the case. Right. So that's where, you know, that's really where that, I don't know if you, um, uh, were watching my, our AMA from, it's kind of like two weeks ago now, or three weeks ago, we were talking about a situation I had in the ICU where they did need to make a decision for life or death for a patient. And I, that was the day that I made the decision that I could not be in the ICU because I cannot, for me and my belief structure, I cannot be involved in making a life or death decision for someone. It's, See, I, and, and that was you know, completely, that really was it. a different topic than, than this question than topic. This question. It, it is, mm -hmm. it is about, uh, it was in your ICU and your ICU stay and kind of similar, but yeah, just that's our belief. That's the belief. So, yeah. So that underlying value, you know, drives a lot of the things that we yeah. do, right? Uh, but isn't our job as nurses to be able to see the world through others' eyes and understand their perspectives? For sure. Absolutely. Like like Christina just said, for sure. You can understand, you can understand, you can love and still not agree. Yep. And I think that that's a key point is, yes, definitely. You can be, um, you can yeah. empathize with other people. You can feel sympathy, empathy, Compassion. and still not agree with the decision. Yeah, absolutely. So absolutely. Yeah. Um, I understand you set your own boundaries as a nurse for sure. And that's actually the class that I had had in nursing school, the ethics class was that like, if you were ever, if, if anything that a doctor was doing or another nurse was doing was not ethical in your own eyes, like you absolutely can make that decision for yourself and not be involved in it. It's totally fine. I think, um, I do want to preface that though, by saying that you need to check with your state laws because you can't abandon a patient. You know, you can't, you know, just, you can't like willfully like neglect a patient, you know, things like that. So make sure that you are operating within the laws of your state. But if you're in the U S if you're outside of the U S laws of, you know, your country, your Providence, what have you, um, you know, just make sure that you are within the legal laws um, but then, you know, do, you know, do what you can and follow your belief structure. Yeah. And I, I think I'll just end it saying like, you guys are either nurses or going through nursing school to become nurses or mm -hmm. thinking about joining or doing prereqs. Yep. In some case, pretty much the audience we're, we're, we're talking to is on that nursing school, nursing journey. Mm -hmm. And for the vast majority of you guys, I mean... You guys want to be nurses. You guys want to help other people. You guys have great big hearts. Mm -hmm. You have sympathetic, empathetic hearts. Yep. You do want to help people. So I don't think it's a case of, oh, I, I hate this, I hate this, I hate that. It, yeah. No, no, you guys are on this nursing journey and you want to become nurses because you want to help people. Yeah. So just understanding that too and understanding that we all have different belief structures and we're all on the spectrum of, wanting to help people and what's the best way to help people while still aligning with your beliefs. So yeah. just understanding that and other nurses will have different opinions too and different belief structures. And again, going back to, can you understand other nurses' perspectives or other people's perspective? Yes, we can understand we can still have a great relationship, even though all your decisions might not be in lockstep with one another. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. So I hope if there's anything that you guys get out of today, that that is it. That even if you disagree with someone, an instructor, another student, anybody in your life, even if you disagree, you can absolutely still be in relationship with them. You can absolutely still love them. And uh, I guess a straightforward solution to this question, I, a lot of people did did ask this because we're really not sure about the question, but definitely ask your professor. So we'll yep. go back to that. Ask your professor, ask clarity. about options, clarity, walk through even some of your concerns and see if you can kind of work something out. Mm -hmm. uh, again, the nurse, the, the professors are there to help you. The professors are there to get you through nursing school so that you can be the best nurses possible. They're not there to make your life hard. They're there. The classes might be difficult, but it's to help you grow. Absolutely. So what is the best way of communicating? Open communication, transparency, what we talk about, especially during now online classes. Oh, Make yeah. sure to talk, talk, talk to your professors. If, if you're not clear on something, go ahead and go back and ask them more about it. And if you're not in 100% agreement with how it's structured or um, if it does come down to personal beliefs, ask them, okay, 
this is what I believe. This is how I believe. How can, how would you suggest that I go about doing this? And that's a great question. And we'll, we'll see if we can work it, work it out. And I'm sure yeah. your professors will be open to um, brainstorming ideas. Yeah, absolutely. So. Absolutely. So anything that you guys are ever not clear on with an assignment or anything, uh, definitely just ask your instructor. The more clarity, the better. Where was that to be clear is to be kind? Was that Dave Ramsey? Mm. I think that's Dave Ramsey. I could totally be wrong, but I'm fairly certain that it is to be clear is to be kind. So the more clarity we can give people, the more clear we are with other people, that's kindness, right? When you're unclear, setting unclear expectations, like that's not really kind, right? Mm. To be clear is to be kind. And so the more communication that you do, the better. Awesome. Yeah. All right. For those just joining, that was a bit on the heavier side, the heavier topic, and we did spend some a bit of a chunk of time on that. So thank you guys for uh, commenting and giving your thoughts too. We, we really yeah. appreciate it. And I'll have her one go of, back and look at this so that she can look at your guys's comments yeah. and get your other perspectives. One of the reasons why I love you, the the community, both public and our membership community, is that it's a very supportive group. You guys are very supportive and. Uh, open to kicking around these different ideas too. We have the best so. students ever. We genuinely do. So should those, we um, give some member shout outs? Yeah. We only yeah. Those just joining. List. Hello. Welcome, welcome to our nursing AMA. Uh, nursing school success. Usually the AMAs are on Mondays and Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Pacific, except we just decided, hey, this sounds fun. Let's go live now because, well, who doesn't like a live on a Tuesday at noon Pacific? At noon. <laughs> Happy lunch to guys that are eating. Um, all right. So we, our membership time. site is open right now and people have joined. So let's do a couple more shout outs for people that have joined since so the last I already AMA. Run I already ran through half of the list um, at the beginning of this live video. So if I didn't shout out your name, this is only the students who have joined since yesterday. So if you joined yesterday afternoon and you're just coming on the live because we got a lot of people on right now um, and I didn't shout you out, it's probably because I shouted you out earlier on in this hour. So just so you know. Um, okay, welcome Octavia, Lauren, Alan, Peter, Jackie, Olu, Carlo, Carlos, Lara, Abigail, Ling, Jessica, Gifty, Jade, Erica, Vivian, Giovanni, Ray, Jody, Carly, Lindsay, Kelsey, Erica, Lakita, uh, Shanika, Kathy, Darshana, Laura, Justine, Alma, Lauren, Giselle, Pashera, Susie, Ariel, Holly, Carolyn, Susan, and Samantha. Hooray! Hello. Welcome to the Nursing Outdoors membership community. <laughs> My goodness, it's just amazing how like God just multiplies. Blessings, it's insane. Thank you, you guys, guys are for awesome. joining. Thank All right, you from here. YouTube, we have a couple new members that actually ask questions Hello. in YouTube. So let's Perfect. go ahead and get let's to those. Hello, YouTube. Hey, Christina, new to Hello. Nursing SOS membership, and I Yay. have an exam coming up for fundamentals. I was Perfect. wondering how do I utilize the membership to score the mm. best score? Who doesn't love fundamentals? So, all right, welcome. Welcome to the Nursing SOS membership community. I have my first med surge exam in two weeks consisting of pain, fluids, and electrolytes, ABGs. So med surge, you said med surge? Oh, no, we're on, we're on the oh, one above that. One that one's the next that. question. Sorry. Fluid and electrolytes go with fundamentals. Fundamentals, fundamentals I, was I was wondering how to best. Okay, it's basically the same. You want to answer them all basically together? The so so the, other, the other question first, uh, med surge exam consisting of pain, fluid and electrolytes, ABGs, pre-op, post-op care, how do you, advise? so okay. fundamentals and all of those things. So fundamentals and beginning med surge. Yes. Very closely tied. Okay, here's basically how you do this. How you study, here's how you study, whether or not you are in the Nursing SS membership community or not. Here's what you'll do. You can, if you would like, skim the reading before class. When I say skim, I literally mean skim. Do not read everything. Skim the reading, look at the titles, look at the, you know, things just so you have a general idea of what you're going to cover that class. That might be helpful for you. When you get to class, whether it's online or in class, you will sit down and take notes, as many notes as you can. Please, please, please try to catch as much of what the instructor says as possible. Write your notes out in one color. And then when you go home or, you know, just start studying because we're online now, right? When you start studying for that class, with your books, use a different color pen so you know which notes came from what. Are we all clear on that? So you will use one color pen for the notes that you take 
from your instructor. You will use a different color pen for the notes that you take out of the textbook. So you know what notes came from your instructor and which ones came from the textbook. Does that make sense? So there's that. Um, so then you're gonna, you know, study it. Study, study, study it. Um, you can rewrite things out if you want. You can make flashcards, you can make concept maps. You can, you know, teach somebody else. You can answer nursing school exam style questions, things like that. So. That advice still stands. Now here's where YouTube comes in or the Nursing SOS membership community comes in. <sighs> YouTube kind of this way. I mean, it, it kind of depends on what you're looking at on YouTube. In the membership community, if you don't wanna read the textbook, if that doesn't make sense to you, watch a video on it. Because inside the Nursing SOS membership community, we've got tons of videos for you covering pretty much every topic you will see in nursing school is in there. So if you are confused on anything after class, watch a video. Let me teach it to you. That's basically it. If you wanted to use free YouTube videos online, you could try to find a video that covers that topic uh, that you are studying. Um, that's, that's a little more difficult because a lot of videos on YouTube are like super long or they don't cover exactly what you need or, you know, things like that. Like we've all been there, right? Um, so it might take a little bit longer because a lot of videos are like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and you just need a little slice of it. So there's that. So that's how you use it. Um, the Nursing SS membership community is absolutely here um, to help help walk you through, through nursing school. That's what we're here for. Um, if you are a Nursing SS member and you ever have a question, we have a form on the membership community dashboard for you to submit. You can submit uh, your question for the live members tutoring calls on Tuesdays today. Um, so if you're a member, we do have a member tutoring call today at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So in about an hour and 10 minutes. <laughs> so come on over. Yes. Um, and I email you the details about that stuff. Um, so there's that. And then Mondays and Wednesdays, we have our live AMAs here that you can ask questions as well. And we always prioritize our members for those. So, so you get your questions answered. So that's how I recommend you study whether or not you are a member or not. Sound cool. good? Yeah, sounds good. Is that clear? Um, I missed a question that was on Instagram. Um, someone, mm -hmm. the, the same person that asked, could they ask questions? Ask questions. So oh, maybe okay, you can yeah, go great. ahead and scroll mm -hmm. back and maybe, Oh, scroll back yeah, on scroll Instagram? Back oh, okay. And do that. Yeah. Did well, you ask a question? She did ask a good question. Yep, yep. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh there. no, that was about, yeah, oh, I already answered that. those. Oh, okay. Okay, right? maybe. Was that the right one? Maybe that was it. Okay. Sorry if I didn't answer your question on Instagram. Let me know. Okay. Um, next question then. Any advice on practicing taking a manual blood pressure? Um, I no good went those. to the doctor yesterday and they did it totally wrong. And that's always so funny. <laughs> You know, like leave the arm like out. Like I've got my legs crossed. I'm like, how far can I push this yeah. <laughs> as a patient? Arm has to be level, level with the heart. So yeah, I was just thinking about this yesterday. Um, when you take it, oh, I was like, stand what? up. No. When you take a blood pressure, um, have it there and pin their arm to your hip. Can you see? Like pin the patient's arm right there so you can relax your arm because I've got it pinned. You feel that? Yeah. Yeah. So that's how you take a blood pressure. I don't know if you want to. If that's helpful for you. Yeah. <laughs> but <Okay. Yeah. laughs> there you go. Pin their arms so their arm is level. You know what? I know because you were <laughs> looking into this because of your upcoming tutoring call here ah. for members mm -hmm. that I think you were kind of studying up on this or uh, writing down notes on how to answer this. This, But in relation, someone asked on YouTube, mm -hmm. when it comes to diffusion, is everything passive that doesn't use energy via Na plus sodium? <laughs> and potassium pump. What is the distinguishing difference between simple and facilitated diffusion? Where's the question? Because you said not right plus and I just threw me off. When it comes to diffusion, is everything passive? Oh, that doesn't use energy. Yeah, okay. So if it doesn't require a pump, it is passive. Like if it doesn't require, yeah, if it doesn't require energy, if it doesn't require like a pump, then it's passive. Actually, the question that I was answering uh, for our members was mm -hmm. about glucose. Yep. Why does glucose shift in and out of cells? And it's it's glucose is polarized, ionized. It's a it's a polarized ion, so it's 
charged. <laughs> it's charged. <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for. It's a charged molecule, charged ion. So it needs that. It needs energy to move. So it can go from an area of like, you know, it can go like kind of go wherever it wants to go, really. Like it doesn't have to follow the typical rules, high concentration to low concentration, like water does, right? High concentration to low concentration because it's charged and can do whatever it wants as long as the pump is available to do that for it. If that makes sense. Um, so what was the second part? What is that the distinguishing the difference one? in between the simple and facility? Yeah, so that's I it. mean, well, simple diffusion. Yeah, really. I mean, simple diffusion is just where it diffuses yeah. without energy. Facilitated diffusion is where it needs energy there to you go. diffuse. Facilitated like with a pump. The sodium potassium pump is the biggest one. You know, sodium potassium pump is like, facilitated diffusion it's not simple diffusion it can't just like move one to the other like one side of the cell to the other side um yeah there's that okay all right was cool. that helpful i don't know hopefully i don't know if that uh, like i said helpful. i, I want to ask that because i know that you're going to be going in more into detail yeah I'll, I'll be going it, more into detail with, with that the on, the, on the um nursing associate membership so. tutoring call later this afternoon so if you're a member and want to know more about that <laughs> Come hey, Morris, we already answered your question. Which nursing school did you graduate from? We actually answered that at the beginning of this AMA. <laughs> at the beginning of this AMA. And we answered it by not answering it. So yeah. we're not going to say exactly where she went to school. I can say They're where like... I went to nursing school in that I did not. <laughs> I did not go to nursing school. So there is that. But yeah. as far as which but I nursing promise school, you I did go to nursing school. She did go to nursing school. school. I promise so... you. People are going to be like, oh, well, because she didn't say, <laughs> that means she didn't go. You can look up my license if you want. It's in Washington. I live in Washington State. Ooh. But that's all. You can, yeah. I mean, that's all public I think record. That was, I think that was probably the first time you mentioned that, though, exactly where we are. In Washington? Yep. Oh, yeah. So. We're, we're in Washington. Good old Pacific Northwest. Yes, it Washington rains here. State. Although it hasn't been lately. Yeah. So. All right. Uh, next. Okay, what? We've got a lot of questions. Okay, Christy, how do you do a Pitocin problem using dimensional analysis? This goes back to our AMA from yesterday. Someone asked, is there a problem that dimensional analysis cannot solve? This would be one of them that looks like it cannot be solved with dimensional analysis. It is wrong. You absolutely can, and you absolutely should solve Pitocin problems with dimensional analysis. This is one of the examples when Students, um, I did a walkthrough for our nursing SOS members on Pitocin and uh, the, the student, um, we're trying to use the formula method and it doesn't work. Doesn't work for Pitocin, the typical formula method. Um, so unless you know dimensional analysis, there's really no easy way to do it. There is a formula for Pitocin. Actually, there's like a bunch of formulas for Pitocin calculations. But what are you going to do? Are you going to memorize a whole bunch of formulas for different uh, dose calc questions to solve? Are you just going to memorize a whole bunch of formulas? You can if you want. But I think personally, the easiest thing to do is just do dimensional analysis. It works all across the board. So for Pitocin, dimensional analysis, 100%. If you're a nursing SOS member, uh, you can go into the OB course inside the membership community. Go into the OB course, um, OB maternal newborn, and there's a whole video on dosage calculations for Pitocin in there for you where I walk you through multiple examples of Pitocin. Good deal. Hope that helps. Uh, I like this question from Instagram. Just asked, um, how do you usually count RR railroads? How do you count railroads at the same time as the pulse rate? It's not railroads. If you think it's railroads, <laughs> it's not railroads. Um, how do you usually count right. RRs at the same time as the pulse rate? Okay, friends. So textbook, you're not supposed to. <laughs> Don't count them at the same time because you will probably get them wrong. That's, I mean, yeah. If you're asking okay. like a cardiac nurse, <laughs> you should definitely count them separate, separately. Cardiac, pediatrics, count them separately. Anyone with super high risk, count them separately. I'm not even going to tell you anything else. Just okay. count them separately, please. I was just telling you a meme the other day. Like you see so many memes. Um, there was the one that was going around yesterday that's like uh, nursing nursing got it's just a meme I saw on Instagram. Nursing got like the most honest profession again. 
Like it's always the most honest profession. It's always like the best profession. And the meme said, you've obviously never seen a nurse count respirations. <laughs> it's not the most honest profession. <laughs> um, it's like always. Looks, 16. Looks good. Looks 16. Good. Looks about 16. <laughs> it's terrible. Count your respirations, please. Especially if your patient is high risk, cardiac, pediatric. Yeah. Um, that's All right. Um, the next thing I'll say, um, just uh, tell the patient that you're taking their heart rate. Don't tell them that you're taking their respirations because they will breathe differently. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Will they try it? <gasps> yeah. They'll they'll be more conscious of their breathing. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> I I can see that. I would totally do that. Yeah. 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 You because when you're like conscious of it, then you're you change it changes. Yeah. It's super funny. Okay. All right, friends. I actually have a call in about four minutes. So okay. I've got a jet off. All right. Well, I really want to ask this question. So we'll ask this next time. Oh, is there a good question? For no, me? it's not really a, not. It's a good question. Yeah, it's, it's a good, like a, yeah, it's, okay. it's a good question in general. <laughs> so um, it, it was from Instagram. So we'll start off with that next time. Okay. Thank you guys for joining. Go ahead and keep asking more questions or whatnot. Like I said, I'm capturing everyone and we'll probably do another AMA at our normally scheduled time, which is on Tomorrow. hump day. Mondays and Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Pacific is typically when we do our AMAs, except for this week when we're like, hey, let's just go live all the time. Yes. And so no notification. We just go live. And so make sure that if you're on YouTube that you click the bell subscribe when you hit the subscribe mm -hmm. button you can click the bell to uh, get notified when we go live and then if you're on facebook on facebook you can uh, do the three dots at the top of our page and it'll say like get notified get notified or see first like tell facebook to see our page first in your feed so then that way you won't miss it when we go live instagram i don't think there's really a way i don't know you know if no. you can get notified of i'm live. sure i'm sure you can i think hit the um dot 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 somewhere and then like turn notifications like on turn, or something like, that. like get so, notified of yeah. all the stuff yeah so yeah just get notified of all the stuff because you know we're here who knows when okay. except mondays and wednesdays at 9 a.m so, pacific we'll be back tomorrow yeah, monday wednesday 9 pacific is our ama uh the members tutoring are tuesdays at 2 p.m 2 pacific, pacific. So, so in like an hour i will be on with our nursing sos in your, or Facebook group, uh, the Facebook, private group. Facebook group. If if you need any more information on that or links, things like yep. that, it's there. Yep. All right. Thanks for joining. Um, last one last time. Membership is open, so go ahead if you are interested. Join yep. nursingschoolofsuccess.com slash join. If you join really really quickly, then you can join for the tutoring call coming up in an hour. Yes, join really really fast so, so that you can uh, jump on the tutoring call with me in about an hour. So thanks, right. friends. Take care. We'll see you later. Bye bye. Bye. Press End. button. Press Finish button. Facebook Live. Oh, no, not yet. End. End.